up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today. Whoa, whoa, doing stuff with things, playing some Ark Survival Evolved peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. I'm back from my trip. That, that's right, no hands. I just flew in from Los Angeles and boy, my arm's tired. <laughs> <laughs> the worst joke ever. Anyway, all right. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. Oh, yeah. And we're back. And we're doing stuff and things that I'm really excited to be back because there was an update and I missed it because I was traveling. Um, if you guys didn't know, I was traveling. I went to an event in Los Angeles for Ubisoft um, to play Far Cry Primal. And you guys are going to see more about that in a couple of days or a day or something like that. So stay tuned for that, guys. I did want to tell you, as while I was gone, I was checking up on you guys, reading up in your comments. Checking the stuff and things. Thank you so much for all your likes and support. I very much appreciate it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and show your support. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I also wanted to give a shout out to some peeps on Twitter. Um, we just hit 600,000 subscribers. So unbelievable. So crazy. 600,000 peeps. We have a lot of peeps, peeps. Um, and it was really great. Great. A lot of you guys gave me some really nice stuff on Twitter. So thank you so much. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Slipgator, S-L-1-P-G-8-R. We have a couple of things to talk about. Before I left, Blood Eagle, who um, hangs out and plays with um, with Garrett from Jobless Garrett, um, left some 11 uh, wishbones in this chest over here. It says, Dear Gator of Slip, 10, bo oh, 10 bones. I thought it was 11, though. 10 bones of wishing as a gift. Love, Blood Eagle. So thanks so much to Blood Eagle for doing that. Really, really, really nice of him. And then what I did was... I had 11 wishbones, and before I left, because I just didn't have time to do stuff and things, let's check how much gas we have real quick. Before I didn't have time to do stuff and things, um, I wasn't going to be able to collect any more wishbones, and so I kind of just told the guys, I have 20-something um, wishbones in my smithy. If you want them, go ahead and have them. Um, and so I guess they took them, but what I ended up finding is there's a chieftain hat in here. I can't even believe I got a chieftain hat. And it was DMAC who dropped it off for me. So very, very cool. Thank you so much to DMAC for helping me out with this. Um, I'm really interested to see what this is going to look like. Can we... Is it just like straight up like a thing or is it like a thing? How does it... Let me see here. We shift that off. Shift that on. Oh, baby, we got a chieftain hat. Oh, Hey, um, um, uh, hey, um, um, no, hey, um, hey, um, ha. Hey, um, um, no, who? Hey, no, um, no, hey. Whoops. Ha. Ha. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Anyway, we have a chieftain hat. <laughs> that looks really great. <laughs> it looks really fun. I don't know. I got to see if we can dye it. I really wanted to get it. You know, I love that there's these events that we can play around with um, and play with stuff and things. Are you coming up, elevator? Um, but the last couple, you know, it really stinks because both events, the Halloween event and this event, um, are like the only two times this year that I've traveled or gone anywhere. Um, and I just didn't have time to do the the kind of the stuff and things that it required in order to get them to, to be done. But I got the chief net anyway. So it's a kingly gift. It's very, very much appreciated. We got to come down. I got to find Ouncey because he's got all my dyes on him. And then we're going to do a couple other things while we wait. Where are you, Ouncey? There he is right over there. I see you, homie. So let's go ahead and see. If we can dye this, I think it'll look a lot better. I really hope that that's the case. <laughs> let's find, let, it, let us find out. Let's throw some of these in here like so. And then let's go ahead and see. Oh, we can. All right, sweet. So let's take a look. Let's get a dye job on this homeboy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ho. Mm-hmm. Eh. Ooh. Hoya. Yeah. Dye item. Dye item. Let's go to white. Oh, it's still going to be a little bit red. Okay. Die item. Die item. Oh, it's looking way more. Way more cool. All right, let's go down to here. And I think what we want is that to be like this. And then that like that. Let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's so cool. I don't know why I'm making that noise, but I like it. I wish that we could get rid of the red on the front, but it does kind of give it like a... It's like a red thing going on. And I think, I don't know. I like this. I don't know if I like it better than a trike hat. I feel like I do like it better than a trike hat. So we're going to wear this for now. The chieftain hat. We feel, I feel like such a chieftain. So um, we're going to go ahead and check on some stuff and things in the beginning of the day here. Then we're going to go get some over raptor taming done. I want to check those guys out. Oh, we got another level on the fortress. What is it that we were going to pump again? I was saying stamina, but we don't really need that. So probably movement speed. 
Um, so we'll pump that inside of there. And then I got to check and see how our fertilizers are doing here. All right, we got a lot. All right, let's go over to the other side and see. So, um, oh, man, we got a ton. So just keep your eyes peeled, peeps, because I'm going to be doing a couple of different videos for the Far Cry Primal thing. And then also I'm going to try to do like a vlog about my travels. And this is going to be like the first time I really did like a travel-y vlog. I hope it comes out good. I took a bunch of footage of stuff and things. Um, I had a really great time. I got to do some stuff that I've never done before. I took an Uber. It's like a taxi. And you call them, and the, but it's like a car. And it was they only had a fancy one. So I had to take the fancy one. And I took a fancy one. And it felt like a rock star. And it was weird. Because, um, yeah, because it was weird. And, um, and yeah, so we did those, those sorts of things. Let's also check. I bet you any money, like every single thing I have here. Yeah, we're like out of all the foods. So let's grab Auntie again, put this stuff away. Maybe we'll get some more foods. But um, it was a very, very quick trip for you guys who weren't kind of following me. I left at 5 uh, p.m. on, uh, uh, what was it, the 30th? And uh, was in L.A. at 8 p.m., uh, but actually didn't get there till late. Didn't even get to the hotel until like 10. Um, and then we'll put this guy inside of here. Um and uh, actually didn't get to the hotel till around 11 o'clock, fell asleep, woke up, waited to do the event. The event started at like 930, did the event until like two o'clock and then went to the to they, they had to we had to leave because of the event space. Um, it was like a thing where uh, the event space was like rented. So we did the event, and then like at like three o'clock, they're like, "All right, we got everyone's got to go." And I was my flight didn't leave till six, so then I went to the airport, got there at like four o'clock. Let me see here. Let's drop some of this stuff. All right, let's just go get some meats. So went to the airport at four o'clock, hung out there till six when my flight left, and then flew back. And because of time zones, um, it's a six-hour flight, but because I'm traveling backwards from west to east, it was a nine-hour flight. So I didn't get home until like two o'clock in the morning, and then. Flew or drove home. It takes about an hour. So I got home at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then went to bed and woke up. And then that's where we are today. But it was really fast. Like, it was so crazy to, like, fly there, be there, do stuff, hang out for, like, five hours, fly home. And, like, it was just intense and kind of weird. And it felt surreal. Um, and you also are going to be able to see... Let's gam up a little bit. Um, that um, I got to meet some uh, YouTubers that I hadn't met before. Chris Smoove, who I actually had not heard about. Um, and uh, he was a really, really nice guy. I got to meet uh, Typical Gamer. Um, and there was a couple other guys there. Um, and it was really, really fun. Um, but the piece de resistance for me was that I got to meet Sneen Anners. Um, and I was a little bit of a fangirl. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Sneen Anners, if you guys are not familiar, um, has been doing YouTube for like seven or eight years. And he was one of the people that really inspired me when I first started. Um, I started doing first-person shooter games, and uh, he just really inspired me to make better videos or to start making videos. And then, you know, he had really great quality, and it was just really good. And so I got to meet him, and it was really like a super fangirly moment. Like, I swear to God, like, I saw him, and we walked in, and I saw him, and I was like, <gasps> St. Anders is here! St. Anders is here! I can't believe it! And then I acted all cool. I was like, I don't even... I'm just gonna, like, sit down and look at my phone, and I'll just be cool. But then I went up to him, and I said, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, big fan and uh, having a little bit of a fangirl moment right now. So uh, we met and to talk to him a little bit and uh, not much, just hung out. Um, and it was really cool. And then he tweeted at me and he told me I was delightful. And I felt so delightful by his tweet. And it really was like a super fangirl <laughs> moment. And it was really, really cool. So, oh my gosh, how much meats do we have now? We got a good amount. We could probably start to feed the masses with this. Oh, baby. All the primes. Holy crap, oh, man. All right, let's just drop all that. Is this a good amount? That'll be a good amount of enough meat to get us started. We could come back over here uh, and then go on the look out for overraptors. But, um, yeah, so that was the deal. That was the trip. And um, I'm going to, like I said, try to do the travel vlog thing for you guys as well as the two videos that are coming up. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled for all the stuff. And things. <gasps> well, we got to check on Brian and all these guys and see what's going on. There they are. Brian and Kevin and Sarah are doing great. You know, whoa, what was that that landing maneuver. So um, let me go ahead and two, three, four. Let's just drop a little bit of meat. These guys actually don't eat a lot. They don't. They're not very hungry people. Give me the meat. Give me all your meat right now. Um, see, you can see they barely even ate. So we got a little bit of meat over there, and then we'll get the rest of these guys fed up as well. 
but it was a great trip it was an amazing opportunity it felt very strange and like i said very surreal to like just be there for a few hours and then come back um it seemed really odd to me that they would do that but i think it's because the game isn't going to be released for such a long time they couldn't like give out copies or anything like that so they just had to that's how they had to do it um really cool stuff and things so very very amazing all right like so. All right, so that's my update of the trip stuff and things. I'm going to go ahead and feed the rest of the guys, and then let's go out and look for some over-raptors. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what these guys are all about. And we're back, and Ash just happened to be flying around right here, and I found a level 120 female scorpion. So I don't know what kind of scorpions I've got, to be honest with you, and I don't really need another scorpion, but I kind of don't think I have two perfect tames. So I thought we would come over here. We, let's see if we can drop it off. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, oh no, no, no. It's the wild scorpion. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Don't attack anybody. Don't attack anybody. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure we're on passive. All right. Let's slow your roll there, flying guy. Okay, 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 okay. Zerp. A little bit closer. No, no, no. Okay. Wait, what? No, stop. Why are you being such a pain in the butt? All right. We've got we to get this drop just perfect. Nailed it, Ace to can't be stopped. All right, so we got the scorpion over here. This isn't really what we were going for today, but we're an opportunistic tamer. We've got to just kind of get do with, you know, uh, go with what we've been given. So let's see here. We'll knock this bad boy out. You want some? You want to go, lady? I know we have a 120 already, because if they if they institute breeding for scorpions, we definitely want to be able to do this. Okay. So there we go. We got it down. Oh, there's a hole right there. I forgot about the hole. And it didn't. So did you. Ha ha ha. I'm Jedi mind trick. So um, he didn't even, or she didn't even recognize the hole there. So let's go ahead and grab two. Uh, that's perfect amount of prime, uh, prime rotten meat. And we'll squirt this on this lady right here. Like a so. Like a so. There we go. You're so good at this game. All right. So there's our lady over there. Now, I think, let me go up here and see what we've got for scorpions already. So this is a female. Crapo. That's a oh, crapo. We got all females. We got all females. Oh my God. Oh no. We got another 120 female. Well, you can't pass up a 120. You, if you find a 120, you got to tame a 120. So we got the 120 taming over there. You know, I got to make a couple more um, stone fences so we can fence that bad boy in again. Uh, Cause that's where I want to get the over after. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a couple other things. Get the tame done. Then I'll be our beats peeps. And we're back! And I was waiting for this guy to tame up, but it's been quite a while. It's about halfway done. Um, and so I decided just to real quickly to build another little pen over here so we can get an over-raptor in there. Um, so yeah, we got our extra pen now. We got the lady taming up, doing her thing. Uh, and other than that, I think we're good to go. So these over-raptors do tame up in a different way. They don't use, like, kibble or food. Or they do use food, but it's not kibble. Um, they use eggs. So, I gotta check and see what kind of exors we've got. And I actually haven't seen one of these guys yet. So, I'm not really sure how big they are. I think they're, like, smaller than a raptor. Bigger than a half-size raptor. They're, like, they're like a thing. They're, like, a little guy. Is that one? Are you a Dillo? I think they're about Dillo size is what we're gonna be looking for. So, just gonna head around to the beaches. Oh, 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 no. No, these are whatever they're called. I can't remember now. Oh, yeah, compies. Hey, what's up, little guys? You guys are so cute. Hanging out. Why you want to go? You want to get some? You want to get some, Compy Army? It's all over. Oh, the destruction. So, all right. Time to find an Overaptor. Here we're back. I think there's one right there. He's peacing out, though. He's so peaced out. Where did he go? There he is. There he is. There he is. Zerp. Oh, yeah, baby. Overaptor level 72. I actually looked around for quite a while for these guys. All the way down the beach here. Um, so I didn't see um, a lot of them. But a lot of times when we first get a new dino or something like that, uh, because of over farming, because we have a lot of them, uh, a lot of people looking for them, we don't see a lot of them. But I did find this guy. He's level 72. Not bad looking. He's kind of black colored. We're going to take him back to the base and we're going to tame him up, peeps. And we're back. I bet you our scorpions tamed up. Yo, yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and whistle passive. Make sure that's a thing. Slowly, slowly, and zerp, zerp. Ugh, 
No, go in. Oh, why do you why do you hate your slip gator? Where did he go? No, 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 no. No, no, no. All right, let's see here if we can get an accurate dropping. All right, we're going to hold the position for a moment. Why do you drop off the side? Why is that? Sometimes it drops right off the back, and then sometimes... Is it based on the dino? Maybe it is based on the dino. Okay. Nope, that ain't going to work. Let's go. No! Oh, what? Ugh. Ugh. It's so squirrely. All right, we got him. All right, so we know it drops off the side. Let's come in under this early type direction. We got this. Bam. You're inside. You can't be. You can't stop me. I'm the slip gator. All right, so we got our guy. Now, what I've done, I've heard that the guys, these guys' health is, is really, really low. So we have to be really careful about what's up. Let's go inside. Now, I don't know if they're, like, aggressive or not. Look how cute he looks. He's like a little guy. What's up, little man? You want some? Get some. Get knocked out! 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 Wow, he's like... Get knocked out! Oh, he's all knocked out now. That's what's up. All right, let's check the stats on this guy. 400 health, 200 stam, oxygen food, no one cares. 120 weight, 155 million damage, 100% movement speed. So, from what I've been reading on the wikis, basically, the bigger the egg, the better it is for taming. Now, this guy's only one, uh, uh, 72. So, I also did pick up a couple of eggs when I was out and about doing stuff and things. I got a couple of Dilo eggs, and I got a, what was that, a scorpion egg? I didn't even see real quick. A uh, packy egg. So, um, I did find those while we're out. I'm not really sure what we've got stored up inside of our egg bin here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Bam, bam. As far as the bigness of eggs, what are the biggest eggs? Dillo eggs, Packies, Sarcos, Ankies, Carnos, Rex eggs. We have eight Rex eggs we could use. So, those are big. Dimorphodon, Turtle egg, Quetzal eggs. We got two. Those are big. Uh, Dimorphodon, Turtle, Bronto Eggs, we got five, those are big. Titan Boa, Parasaur, Trike Egg, Raptor Egg, RG Egg, Stego Egg. Stegos are kind of big. Pteranodon Eggs, and Scorpion Eggs. I don't know how many eggs it's going to take. I don't really know. We've got eight, we've got a bunch right there. So, and it, I don't know if they've coded it so that, oh man, he can't even go. He's, we're too fat, too many fat eggs. Are you really that fat? Are those eggs really weigh that much? So we'll leave we'll leave you up there. We'll come down here. Now what I was gonna say is um I wonder if they coded it so that it automatically uses the most preferable egg. Um I don't know if that's the case. Let's see if we can just stop. No! Uh not quite as good as I wanted. Alright, let's head over here. Down, homie. And we'll squirt these eggs on our boy and see what's up. So, I would assume Giga Eggs are going to be the best, and I think Rex Eggs are the second. Oh, what's that? A Pope Tower! Magic Pope Tower! Oh, we have to worship on the, on the idol of the Pope Tower. Hey, Pope Tower. I don't know what that is. All right, moving along. Moving along. Let's go over here, like a so. So, what I'm wondering is that if it'll preferentially eat the preferential egg. Oh, I can't even put more on him. I can only put these eggs because they're too heavy. So, we'll put one of these, one of these, one of these. And then, it looks like his food's going to have to drop a really long way. But like I said, I'm not sure exactly which egg he'll use first. Let's find out! I was doing a little bit more research on this. It ate the Quetzal egg first. But I don't think that it eats, like, the preferential egg. I think it eats whatever egg has, like, the least amount of food in it. Um, so what I mean by that is that the Quetzal egg feeds it 200 food. The Rex and the Bronto eggs will probably give it higher taming effectiveness, but they're 300 food. So because I used the Quetzal egg, it ate that egg first. Does that make sense? So it's a little confusing, um, but I think it makes sense if you use your brain powers. So yeah, since the Quetzal egg was 200, it ate the quest egg first. It would have eaten the Rex egg if I'd only put that in and let it fit for 300. It doesn't have that much left as far as, you know, we'll grab 10 just in case. 
He doesn't have that much left, and it's not a super high-level team. So I think we're just going to try Kairuko eggs for the end here because we have so many of them. Um, but Giganto eggs would give it 300 food. I think that would probably be your best bet. Or Bronto eggs um, with 300 food as well. So now... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. It's aiming put food in the inventory tank. Crap, oh, it went down because I'm an idiot. I didn't leave anything in there. As far as... How much taming effect is, did we lose? A huge amount because I took all the food out like a monkey. So, oh well. But, um... Wow, it is clean in house on these on the Karuka eggs. Holy crap, oh. Holy crap, oh. Holy crap, oh. Alright, let's go ahead and... Let's see here. Spino eggs work good. Carno eggs would work good as well. Um, I don't want to waste a huge amount of Kairuko eggs, but I have a ton of them. So maybe we'll get 10, 20 more of those guys, and then we'll try... Look how many Stego eggs I've got. Let's try 10 Stego eggs as well. We'll come down and stick these in and see how they work out. I'm going to feed myself, but not eggs. So um, I'm going to eat myself. I'm going to feed myself meat! So we'll come down here and uh, check out what's going on. Oh, he's so heavy. He's probably already out of Kairuko eggs. Quick, quick. And then we'll put those, and I think that's going to be it. We'll grab, ta, ta, like that, like so. And I'm betting the Stego eggs will do it for us. So, all right. Make sure you keep stuffing things on your over after, like any tame. Um, we're going to let this guy tame up. Look at the taming effect. It's going way down. So you definitely got to use good eggs. But for this guy, it feels like a 120 would be a different story. Since it's so low level, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, we just want to get him and see how it all works out. But, all right. Once he's ready to rock and roll, I'll BRBs, peeps. And we're back! Whoa, and we got it, peeps! We got the Overraptor stuff and things done. What are we gonna name him? Egg. Uh, Egg Bait. Egg Bait, hoo ha! We got our guy. Now, the taming effectiveness, I destroyed it with testing. Um, so he only ended up at 77. <laughs> he ended up so bad. Um, but it was good testing. I found out some really interesting information. We'll just demolish this wall. Um, it is under the cover of night as well. Come over here, egg bait. So, um, the Kairuko eggs seem to work better than Stego eggs. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, a direct relation of, like, size of dino and egg to effectiveness of taming. But I think the Stego eggs were actually making it so that they were feeding him. He was eating them. But I don't think they were as effective as the Kairuko eggs. And the Rex egg, although I do believe on the wiki it says it gives... No, no, no. It's 200 food. That's right. It's Bronto's 300, Giganto's 300, Rex is 200, Quetzal's 200. So Giganto's or Bronto eggs are going to be the best. Rex and Quetzal eggs are going to be the second best. Um, you definitely need to have good eggs in order to get good taming effectiveness with these guys. Any sort of, like, not the best eggs destroys the taming effectiveness. It's really, really crazy. So... Let me see here what we got. We can mate them. That's following me. Do we have like a statistic for egg amazingness? Because these guys are supposed to make guys like lay better eggs. Let me take a look around here. Do I have any eggs on me now? I, of course, I've put them all away because I was like worried about having eggs around. Oh, I got some more nerdy glasses. Cool. I didn't even realize. Sweet. All right. So, all right. There's egg bait. Let's just take egg bait over to maybe the Pteranodons over here. And a couple of my guys, by the way, had been moved around, or they, not, they didn't get moved around by players, but I think maybe something must have attacked or something like that. Some of these Pteranodons have kind of moved around. Look, it worked! It worked already! No, I don't think that was because of the of Egg Bait. So let's take Egg Bait. Egg Bait's on follow. If we just drop this egg, are you gonna pick that egg up? Pick it up. That's your thing. You're supposed to pick it up. Now I know that there's some controversy as to how this is all this all works. Uh, if we enable wandering, let's go ahead and unfollow. Are you like on egg duty now? Oh, it's on egg duty now. It's like doing the egg duty. You didn't see this egg though. So I think some of the no 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 no. I see. I'll say there. It's on egg duty now. It's on egg duty. Are you gonna follow me now? Will you pick this egg up? It will not. So um. So I think that uh, this is some information that you guys may or may not already know. Um, there was supposed to be a whole deal where, like, oh, now it's not egg happy anymore. Where these, like, the plan was that these were going to pick up eggs. Now, it seems that they only pick up, like, wild dino eggs. They don't pick up um, bread dino eggs. And you can see right now it's not, like, on egg duty. And that was what that egg thing was that we saw before. And I think it's because it's on follow. If I put it off follow, there it goes on to egg duty. 
So now what's happening, actually, I think is what that means is it is... That means that it is not on egg duty. That means that it is giving the sphere of influence to possibly make these guys lay more eggs, I think. That must be what's going on right now. So and it won't pick up a wild that wild egg. Let's go ahead and just pick that back up. Because the idea was, and I think that what everybody thought was going to happen, was that it was going to be this amazing thing where over raptors were going to be able to pick up wild eggs, or, or pardon me, tamed eggs, and that was going to be great because you, now you wouldn't have to manually do it. Let's go ahead and not falling tiny. So easy to do this. There we go. So um, it was going to be awesome because then we wouldn't have to manually pick up eggs anymore. Um, so it looks like while it's on follow, it will not... Yeah, it will not make them, like, want to lay more eggs. So we put it off follow. There we go. It does want to make them lay more eggs. Now, can we take it off wandering? Disable wandering. Don't wander anymore. Stop wandering. So if we stop it from wandering, does it then do the egg thing? Because that's really kind of like... If we can't have them pick up eggs, which which would be preferable... Um... Can it just, like, increase the egg amazingness of this area if it's not set to wander? Because that just means I have to make more pens, which would kind of be a pain in the butt. Like, why can't it just sit here and do it? Why do I have to pen them in in order for that to happen? It looks like that's the case. It looks like I've got to have it on wander. And... Let me see here. Victim item current range, blah, blah. Unclaim. There's nothing else in here as far as, like, egg stuff and things. So it's got to be on wander. And right now, I don't think that there's a way to get them to pick up eggs that are just laid by the dinos. Uh, is there any stego eggs over here that just got laid by any chance? There's not. But, all right. So that means that we need to make a pen so that we can kind of put guys in the pen with the overraptor. And hopefully we can get more eggs that way. Um, and that really is kind of a cool thing. Even if it won't pick the eggs up, which would really be preferable um, for egg collection, it would make egg farming a lot easier. Um, even if that's not the case, it will make them lay more eggs, which is pretty baller. Like, that's kind of an awesome ability right there in and, in and of itself. So, pretty, pretty cool stuff. So, that means I've got to make a little pen or something like that for him. But so far, I don't know. I'm psyched. I think he's cool. Egg bait doesn't, I don't, also, just in case you were wondering, I don't think you can saddle him. And he ended up taming out at 476 health, 220 stamina, 271% attack damage, and 200% movement speed. So, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty neat and interesting, like, new dino resource. I think it's cool, peeps. And that's going to be it for today, peeps. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit your thumbs up button and show your support. Feel free.